Alright, so what we just went through in the last video was the prologue, and this is the actual beginning. I personally think this song is amazing, this video is pretty amazing, and I'm just going to chill and you listen to the song until the actual game starts. Today is the one year anniversary of the dreadful tragedy that took place on Mount Washington. Annie Klein was in charge of the investigation. Thanks for having me, Marty. This is an update on Hannah and Beth Washington, the twins who are still missing. One year ago tonight, the Washington girls left the safety of their parents' lodge and headed out into a snowstorm. Foul play. Not officially, no. There is one individual we're considering as a person of interest, but his whereabouts are currently unknown. He has an interesting history with the Washington family. He had warned them against pursuing their construction project and claimed the land was sacred to his forefathers. You know, there is still the old sanatorium on the mountain. Could he be hiding there? My officers did search the grounds, but the girls themselves couldn't have made it that far. Something about that mountain seems to breed tragic events. More than you know, Marty. Thank you for joining us, Andy. With all the Washingtons tonight, their son Josh, on this, the anniversary of the mysterious disappearance of Hannah and Beth Washington. Well, hello, friends and fans. All right, let's do that again. All right. Well, hello, friends and fans. It's beyond awesome to have you guys all back this year. Um, first off, I gotta say, I am super excited to welcome all my pals back to the annual Blackwood Winter Getaway. <laughs> so, um, let me just let you know, uh, let's take a moment to address the elephant in the room for a second. I know you're all probably worried about me, and I know it's gonna be tough on all of us going back after what happened last year, but... I just want you all to know, um, it means, it means so much to me that we're doing this. And that, I know it would mean so much to Hannah and Beth that we're, we're all still here together. And I'm thinking of them. I really want to spend some quality time with e each and every one of you and, um, just share some moments that we'll never forget for, for the sake of my sisters and, you know. Okay, so let's party like we're fucking porn stars, okay? Make this one trip we will never forget, all right? Yes! And here we go. Official chapter one, video two. She just got off the bus, dude's already standing there with the machete.
don't guess it would make for a very good game Hello? if the killer just ran up Someone and hacked there? her to death like right here right now. But in reality, if I was a killer, I think, you know, I don't think I would spend hours or days stalking people around and, you know, rattling cans and popping up in front of windows and just scaring people. If the object is to kill them, I mean, she's all alone in the middle of a path in the dark, and he has a weapon. Pretty sure he just toast her right here, right now, you know? So one little thing is, uh, she took the note off and just dropped it on the ground, so the people coming behind her won't know. <sighs> Interesting, so I'm... these buttons quick or the killer might not have to kill her she already be dead Those graphics are pretty awesome. I mean, that's that's pretty damn close to just realism. So it shows a crow landing beside him. I'm not sure how that's guidance, but okay. in the 
bag, are you? Hello, what do we have here? Maybe I should pull up numbers and stuff. Chris? Sam, hey, you made it. So, I found something kind of amazing. What? I'm not going to tell you. You got to see for yourself. Come on, it's this way. Where? Right around here. Going to blow your mind. Oh, man, look at this. Nice. I think we'll get a visit from America's Most Wanted? Looks like someone thought so. Oh, come on. This place is abandoned most of the year. Nobody comes up here. Alrighty, so around the back we go. Ta da! Pretty rad, right? At different yeah. points. You get uh, opportunities oh, for butterfly uh, effect is not the word moments, that comes and this to is mind. one of them. Why is this even here? What do you mean? W what the hell is a shooting range doing at the base of a ski lodge? Uh, dude, have you ever met Josh's dad? Yeah. He means he's like Grizzly Adams or something. Wanna try? Uh, no, you go ahead, Grizzly. <laughs> All right, here goes. Shooting is very simplistic. Uh, you move the cross to the bullseye and pull the trigger. As long as it lights up green, you're going to hit what you're aiming at. I don't think so, girl. Well, anybody and their brother could shoot a bottle that big, that close. <laughs> nice shot. Your ass just got sacked. <sighs> Sharpshooter, a ride's coming. Wait, I'm just getting the hang of this. Come on, Chris, the cable car. So we got a butterfly effect because he did not shoot the squirrel. I've only played uh, a little ways into this when I started thinking, wow, I should really Man, capture this on video. Uh, we're coming back up here so I'll know here. a little bit about what's happening. Yeah, I swear, the moment I got here, up to a couple back. chapters from here, and then after that's all new. Hey, that's weird. The door's locked. Yeah. Uh, Josh wanted us to keep it locked to keep people out. He said that? What people? I, I don't know. He said they found people sleeping in the station one time. It's creepy. Gentlemen, I thought the car was closer. Guess we gotta wait. What a crazy place to set up house. I mean, no matter how rich you are. They're not so rich. They only bought a mountain. Huh? 
So I expected when he first looked at this the first time that you're going to see the, the killer guy standing right outside, but unless your eyes are sharper than mine, I don't see him on the screen either. Definitely did. I haven't seen him so excited about something in forever. Good, good. It's hard to tell with him, and I, I don't know, I've kind of been worried. No, no, it was it was a good idea. I hope everyone else feels the same way. We're all here, aren't we? Thanks, bro. Good talk. <laughs> you know what? Let's just let's just stop talking about what happened and enjoy the trip. Ah, uh, you know what? You're right. You know how Josh and I met? Third grade. Josh sat in the back of the room, I sat in the front. We didn't even know each other existed. But the kid sitting next to Josh started strap snapping the training bra on the girl in front of him. So the teacher made him move to the front, where I was sitting. Okay, so? So I got moved to the back. And? And next to Josh. That's how we met. I mean, and became friends to this day. A match made in heaven. If it weren't for the fact Jeannie Simmons hit puberty like three years early, and on that day decided to wear a low-cut shirt that showed off her training bra. I mean, who knows? You could be riding in this cable car alone. Right now. Or, or talking to some other person entirely. Boom. Butterfly effect. And here we're going to meet yet another new character. Jess. Boy, oh boy, oh boy. New people. Time to meet and greet. Stroke? We're stuck in this stupid thing. Can you please let us out? Pretty please? So the interesting thing is she says new people, but she already knows these people. Oh my god. I thought we were goners. Another ten minutes in there and I would have chewed off my own leg. Oh, sick, Chris. Look, got a lot of meat on my bones. It's all muscle down here. Yeah, right. Hey! <laughs> well, 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 what do we have Chris. here? Chris! My goodness! Seems that someone has a little crush on our good friend and dear class president, Michael Monroe. Chris. And what kind of sizzling erotica might our Jessica be capable of imagining? I wonder. Give that back, you tool. Tool and die. That's my motto. Oh, you're such an idiot. Maybe nosy Nancy shouldn't go nosing around in other people's nostrils. Uh, yeah, I, I try not to do that, as a rule. Come on, Jess, you can tell us. You can totally keep secrets. Whatever. You'll figure it out eventually. All right, all right, let's just get up to the lodge already. It's getting tired of all this nature and junk. Uh, you guys go ahead. I'm just gonna wait here for a bit. See who else is coming. You mean Mike? What? I mean, you know, whoever. Uh-huh. Sam? Did you see this view? I mean, holy cow. 
Sometimes I forget to just stop and take it all in. Seriously, couldn't they have built the lodge like right where the uh, cable car ends? The rich girl. Or at least talks like she's a rich girl. I don't think it would have been like as pretty. You know? And where's the bellboy when you need one? Getting chills. We're almost there. No, I mean, getting kind of creeped out. Oh, yeah. It's gonna be weird seeing everyone up here again. Definitely not gonna feel like a regular party. I mean, what do you think? Ah! <laughs> Jesus! <laughs> I'm the man. <laughs> you guys. Michael! You really, really should have seen your faces right Dude, there. Dude, I almost clocked you just now. <laughs> nice one. Michael, you're a jerk. Come on. Guys, we're all friends here, right? No need for violence, just a little harmless fun. We're up in the woods, it's spooky. Come on, let's get into the spirit of things. The spirit of things? Seriously, what's wrong with you? I'm just trying to lighten the mood, Em. Don't be like that. Like what? The way you're being. You always get like this. Michael, I'm just gonna lay it out, otherwise this whole weekend's gonna suck ass for everyone. Um, this is super awkward, and we all know it. Let's just uh, acknowledge it now and move on, okay? Nah. I hear you, man. I get it. I don't want to make this weird. Cool. So we're good? All good. You guys gonna make out now? Oh my god, totally. We're so gonna make out. Uh, no. Seriously, I'm gonna go check on the cable car back on the trip. No. See you, man. See ya. All right. See ya. Oh, crap. What? Hey, could you take these the rest of the way? Uh, the bags? Yeah, just all the bags. Oh, uh, why? I need to go find Sam. Okay. Sorry, I just, I really need to go find her. I totally forgot I needed to talk to her before we get all the way up there. This really can't wait. We're almost there. It's important, Matt, please. All right, fine. If it's so important, I guess I can pack horse it the rest of the way. But you owe me one. Excuse me? Well, then we're even, at least. I'll think about it. Just be careful. See you up there, sweetie. Thank you. Yeah, that relationship is doomed right there. She's just looking for someone to carry her bags, basically. Check the expiration date on their big breakup. Oh! Oh, God. <laughs> hey, whoa. Oh. <laughs> Sorry there. Sorry about that, Ash. I didn't mean to scare Just you. Louise, well, Matt. I did mean to scare you, sort of scare you, but not like for real oh scare you. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> hey, well, man, I'm, I'm really sorry, Ash. Damn. It's okay. It's fine. It's fine. What are you looking at? See anything juicy with that thing? Uh, it, Let me check it out. Uh, and we want to try to avoid drama. So we're going to go with... Yeah, it's kind of busted. It's not, it's not like, really interesting. It's just... What? For real? I, I bet I could find, like, a cool bear chowing down on a fox or something. But... Also not my problem. Uh, sure. Help yourself. 
Just nothing with him? Ever? I don't know. I... God damn it. Matt. Not just do that. Put your hands where I can see them. We've got you surrounded. The hell am I to retaliate? What choice do I, a supple young rebel girl, have but to surrender to the strapping military guard come to take me into custody? I, well, I don't know when you put it like that. Hey! <laughs> Oh, Ray. <laughs> hey, you know that? <laughs> Where are you hiding, little chickadee? Oh, ah! Oh, hey! Oh, snap! I know all your tricks. Let's see what happens if I hit the fire. Oh. oh no! Damn, Chess. Look what you did. I know, I know. Oh no, poor Freddy, poor little Tweety Birdie. Stone cold, Chess. I didn't do it on purpose. Now yeah, tried to warn me. Oh my god. Michael? <laughs> gotcha! It's done! Done city! So did I go down? Uh, I don't think so. <laughs> I think you'd know so if I did. All right, all right. My, my. So are we calling it my favor then? Your worthy opponent, Miss Jessica the Snowball Queen. Okay, that sounds vaguely dirty. My lady. Save some for later, buddy. Endless reserves. <gasps> Did you hear that? Uh, yes, yeah, sounds like. Whoa! Oh my god! That was really close. That thing was gonna kill us. Yeah, I mean, wow. If you hadn't pulled us out of the way, toast. Let's get out of here. There you go. Kill the bird and bicycles attack you. And we're going to call that. Well, we'll go through the therapist Hello, session here real quick, and then that'll be the end. And how are we? Start the next video on the next chapter. Seems we hardly scratched the surface in our last session, so let's go a little bit deeper this time. This time, we're going to try to understand the root of your anxiety. Now pick up that book, turn the pages. You will see a set of pictures and symbols. I want you to identify which image in each set makes you the most anxious. 
Oh, so this is always tough because uh, none of this stuff acts. Well, some of it probably does, but neither men nor women. But so I'll choose men. Let's see. Yeah, I'm not a huge fan of flying. Crowds don't bother me. I think everyone is afraid of drowning. I mean, you know, not like an irrational fear if you're in the water. But I don't like rats or snakes, but rats don't scare me. I just don't like them. Guns nor knives particularly worry me, but stabbing is a lot more messy. And not afraid of cockroaches. This doctor is very, very well done. Not truly afraid of either one, but anyway, the doctor is very well done. But sometimes his facial expressions are a little odd. Like he starts down a certain expression you recognize, and then it changes. And I mean, it's like a polish issue. Oh, did that startle you? So sorry. You're doing very well. Don't be nervous. Like the way he picked Try up the pen and then put the pen back down. It. The more you rely on your instincts, the more honest your answers will be, and the more enlightening you will find this experience. Spiders are creepy. There's no doubt about that. Don't particularly like needles, but gore does disgust me. I'm afraid of zombies. Because there are no zombies. I'm afraid of dogs. I'm a dog person. I'm not afraid of storms. I like storms. This is very interesting. Thank you for answering so diligently. Spiders, clowns, and awful. <laughs> Some combination sounds like a good Friday night. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Well, I'm afraid once again we're out of time, but I promise we'll talk again very soon. Like right here, it looks like he's going to sit back and wait for me to leave. And then he stands up and walks away. Anyway. It's well done. There's just a couple of oddities. Could be in the actual actor himself. But that's it for this video. See you next time.